So our next speaker is Mr. Michal Vizik. Uh, he's an MEP colleague from Slovakia in the EPP, member in the Committee of Envi Environment, Public Health and Food Safety. Mr. Vizik, you have the floor. Thank you very much for also for inviting me. Uh, dear colleagues, dear friends, uh, we are really facing so many challenges uh, in our days. You all have heard about the climate crisis, but beside the climate crisis, there is also unrolling the, another crisis, which is even more uh, dangerous, and that is the biodiversity decline. Uh, we really don't exaggerate when we are talking about sixth max ma mass extinction, the only extinction where the driver is the human society. And why is it so dangerous? Why is it so dangerous for us uh, to lose a species when there are so many of them? Well, uh, an extinction of a species is never an isolated act. It has its reason and its consequences. The reason for the extinction is that the conditions that were favorable for the species are not there anymore. The environment has changed. And we are, when we are the driver of the change, then this is really our duty to contract. And the conclusion of, the, of, the, of this extinction is that another response of life to the existence has been lost forever. When you lose a species, it cannot be turned back. It is gone forever. So it is really uh, something that is uh, in our deepest interest to prevent and especially we are the reason why this is happening. But why we are doing it actually? Why we are driving so many species to extinction, into extinction? Well, to me it seems that uh, we have been simply neglecting the impact of our activities to the environment we are part of. When you see forestry, agriculture, or even water industry, it has always been about volumes. The volume of harvested wood, the volume of grain produced in our fields, the volume of water that can be turned into electricity. And by doing this, by concentrating only on the quantity, we forgot to see really the quality, the quality, the impact of our every, every deeds and every actions on the, on the surrounding uh, world. And unfortunately, the inevitable output was the decline in biodiversity. And especially in rivers, I have seen so many dams that, were, that have been constructed decades ago that have absolutely no effort to maintain the migratory traits of the fish. How is that even possible? That we really could block the whole, whole river to cut it into two parts and don't care about the migratory fish, don't care about the life in the, in the rivers. Even now when we have so many measures already put into, into place, they are not effective enough. When you build a dam and then you build those, those migratory paths, they don't work usually very effectively. You can, you can be really happy when the effectivity is about 50% or so. And this is especially true with the, with the sturgeons in European and North American and even Asian rivers. All the Northern Hemisphere has its own sturgeon, sturgeon species. And these are those, those big guys in the rivers. We may call them uh, the last dinosaurs, but I would much more prefer to call them the spirit of the river because it's the biggest fish in the pond or, or in the river, which is really having an ex extreme important effect on the, on the river ecosystem. And we are, when we are killing these spirits of the rivers, we are killing the river themselves. You can see, you can see it in the China, in the Yangtze River. There was this, this uh, Yangtze pedalfish, which is another, let's say, a cousin of, of, of our Danube sturgeon. It has been extinct quite recently. It was declared extinct because of a large dam that simply cut their migratory, migratory trades. This is something that we should not allow to happen again in the sake of, of life and in the, in the sake of our common future, because whether we like it or not, we are the part of the Earth's life. We can estimate that uh, approximately one million of species are going to be extinct if we don't change our way of, of, of living, our way of impacting the earth. But none, 
not so many of us actually realize that we could easily be within the one million of the species. If we cut the tree of life too much, it will collapse and we will, it will be not uh, able to sustain our society anymore. This is something that I really wish to prevent and I will do anything that is possible and in my, in my, in my uh, activities to really prevent to do this because, because the life is the, well, this is the living planet and as far as I know, there is none other living planet in the known universe so far. We haven't, we haven't uh, discovered it yet. So, so please.